here we have the illustration of the hippo and I'm going to use the hills in the background to demonstrate the function of the clipping mask. So selecting the pencil tool, I'm going to select no fill for now. I'm going to tap onto the artboard. I'm going to draw some wiggly lines over the first hill. Going on to the next hill, doing the same and finishing on the last. I'm going to go around and I'm going to close this shape. I'm now going to tap fill colour. I'm going to select a green which looks good against the green of the hills. Now when we use a clipping mask, our mask needs to be on top and we're going to use the hills as the mask. So with the selection tool selected, I'm going to select the hills and I'm going to tap this icon in the quick access menu. I'm going to slide to the right with the slider to place the hills on top of the object we've just drawn. With the hill still selected, I'm going to hold the primary shortcut and I'm going to tap the object I've just drawn so that both of those objects are now selected. Now I'm going to go to the object panel and I'm going to tap make clipping mask. So now you'll see the object, which is the shape of the hills, is now masking the new object, which is the peak of the hills. Now the hills have actually seemingly disappeared. You can still see the outline, but there is no fill. And we can remedy this by going into the layers panel. And here you'll see we have a clip group. This is what happens when we use the clipping mask. If I expand the clip group, you'll see those two objects within it, the hills and the path we drew for the peak of the hills. If I tap hills, I can now select the fill as I would normally. So I'm telling Illustrator, I do want this clip and mask to actually have a color. So let's find a suitable green. So let's collapse the clip group and let's tap and bring it down just before the clouds and there we have it. We have the peak of the hills applied using a clipping mask. If we go back to the layers panel we can experiment with the clip group a little more just for the sake of this demonstration. So expanding the clip group if we select the path at the top of the hills we can tap and we can move that path around inside of the clipping mask and you'll see everything outside is still masked but everything inside is visible so we can essentially choose where we'd like to position the object which is being masked we can also add additional objects within the same mask selecting a circle i'm going to tap drag out and You'll see that the circle is affected by that same mask and I'm moving it around within the mask. So let's take the peak of the hills and let's bring it outside of the clip group. So let's tap and let's bring it into the clouds group. So you'll see now that object is no longer affected by the clipping mask because it is outside of the clip group. So let's tap and let's drag it to bring it back in. And now you'll see once again, the clipping mask is being applied to that object. So that concludes our look at clipping masks and clip groups and their arrangement and organization within the layers panel.